Heather Miriam Watson, born May 19, 1992, is a British female tennis player and the British number one. Born in Guernsey, she trained and lived at the Nick Bellettieri Tennis Academy in Florida, United States. On July 16, 2012 Watson became the top-ranked British senior woman player on the WTA rankings, overtaking Anne Kiatha Vong. On October 14, 2012, Watson won her first WTA singles title with a win over Chong Kai-chen of Taiwan in the final of the Japan Open, becoming the first British female to win a WTA singles title since Sarah Gomer in 1988. In her junior career, Watson won the US Open and gold at the 2008 Commonwealth Youth Games. She had been as high as number three in the world on the ITF junior circuit. Heather Watson was born May 19, 1992 in Guernsey to Papua New Guinean national Michelle and Manchester-born Englishman Ian Watson, who was the managing director of Guernsey Electricity from 1995 until his retirement in 2010. She has one brother and two sisters. Heather Watson started playing tennis at the age of seven, and at age 12 she went to the Nick Bellettieri Tennis Academy in Florida, United States. In 2006, Watson won the British Under-14 Championship. The following year she won the British Under-16 Championship, and reached the semi-finals of the British Under-18 Championship. She lost in the Under-18 semi-finals again in 2008 to eventual winner Tara Moore. In October, Watson travelled to Pun to compete at the 2008 Commonwealth Youth Games. There she won the gold medal winning the final against Kyra Shroff. Mother Michelle left her job in 2008 to travel full-time with Heather Watson around the world junior circuit. Watson played her first senior tournament in March 2009 the $25,000 Jersey Open, but lost in the second round to Katie O'Brien. At the beginning of July she became the highest-ranked British junior, overtaking Laura Robson. She achieved her first senior women's world ranking on July 27, 2009, entering at number 756. She won her first senior title at the Frinton $10,000 tournament. Watson beat Anna Fitzpatrick in the final. At the 2009 US Open, Watson was seeded 11th for the girls' singles. She reached the quarterfinals on September 10 before rain interrupted the tournament schedule. The tournament moved indoors and Watson beat second seed Napawan Lurchiwakarn in the quarter-final on September 12. She played her semi-final on the same day and was victorious against Daria Gavrilova to reach the final, where she faced doubles partner Yana Butchina. Playing on court 7, Watson won in straight sets. At 2009 French Open Watson and her partner were the third seeds and reached the girls' doubles final where she and Tamiya Babas faced the second-seeded pair of Napawan Lurchiwakarn and Elena Bogdan and were beaten in a match tie-break. Partnering Yana Butchina, that year they were the seventh seed at the Australian girls' doubles and sixth seed at the US girls' doubles, however they lost in the first round at both tournaments. At Wimbledon she teamed up with Magdalenette and they were seeded sixth in the girls' doubles but eliminated in the second round. Watson is right-handed and plays with a two-handed backhand. Her game is often likened to Martina Hingis and she has been praised by Nick Bellettieri for her amazing footwork. Moreover her great on-court intelligence, court sense, and stellar timing have been other talking points about her game. According to Nigel Sears, head of women's coaching at the Lawn Tennis Association, Watson possesses a complete game, with a massive amount of variety including the consistent use of a one-handed backhand slice, volleys, and angles. Others, including Watson herself, have also identified her game as similar to ADP player Jo Wilfried Tsonga due to her big serve and tremendous athleticism. Upon Watson reaching the 2011 French Open second round, Andy Murray commented when I saw her for the first time, I thought she was good. I like the way she moves on the court. She's very balanced. Bellettieri stated that Watson's game is based on great movement, but she's not afraid to whack the ball. She's not easy to beat. She has very good ground strokes, though she can overhit and strike the ball a little too flat at times.